Peg and Shooter here. I am reviewing the Remington 770. Uh, this one is in 300 Winchester Magnum. It is a three round capacity magazine, one in the chamber, bolt action rifle, meaning you have to cycle the bolt action, the bolt, anytime you want to chamber around. It is a back thumb safety. Uh, this model came with a uh, nine power scope. Um, they say it's good out to about 250 to 300 yards. I'm probably good to about 100 yards at this point. Um, this, this weapon is actually quite expensive to shoot. I, I will be shooting this one on a later video. However, and, and that one I'll be showing you what it happened to my um, windshield the last time I shot it. Uh, it's a polymer stock. The butt plate on this is kind of padded, but it definitely could use a limb saver. This model has quite a kick and it's not really that heavy. I added a inexpensive uh, shoulder strap to the uh, weapon. It has polymer um, acts, or points where you can add the, the, um, the shoulder straps and, uh, and um, shoulder strap rings. I added a front bipod, which if you saw my other video about the um, High Point Cena or the High Point uh, 995, I use the same bipod on both weapons. Um, it is interchangeable. It came with this piece here that locks down to the front mounting point for the um, shoulder strap. Unfortunately, with the pol polymer, that's not strong enough to hold this. So what I ended up having to do is I had to drill a hole through and then create add a the screw in the I believe it's um, I think it's Uncle Mike's. I screwed the uh, front post in there and then I had to secure it. I'll go into some of that in a later video on some of the modifications I've done with this, but this is mostly just for the review of this. Um, the bolt when I first got it was actually not very good. You had, it was difficult to slide in and out. It didn't work very well. Um, I, now, I have heard reviews of this where people were claiming that these would fire on their own. I haven't seen that, and I think if uh, you're cautious with your gun, you're not going to have a problem firing it. I think if anything, somebody did a trigger job on these on their own, and uh, that's what caused it to go off. They made the trigger too light. In this case, the trigger on this is pretty light. I mean, you barely have to pull it. I would say this is only maybe, maybe three pounds at the most. It's a very, very light trigger. Uh, the bolt for it to slide. This one you have to, you have to give it a little bit of a command where you push it all the way up till it pops and clicks. Pull it back straight, push it forward straight and lock it down. And it will glide, it will glide each time. Now when I first got it, I had to work the bolt in. I had to pull it out, which is actually a pretty simple procedure. You just flip this forward, flip it up all the way, pull it, and the bolt will come right out. Um, I had to pull this out. I had to clean it very well. Uh, it was uh, pretty dirty. I had to um, work it in and out quite a bit with some oil to get it worked in. Um, not as high quality milling as I would like to see some of the Remington 700 models, which are the more expensive models. The bolt would be more, would be definitely smoother and easier to work. Um, with these, one of the recommended ways to work it in is to fire it, clean it with a swab, dry it, fire it again, clean it with a swab, dry it, but I'm actually quite surprised with this, and as I dial it in and get used to it, I actually find that uh, I do pretty well. Um, the felt recoil on this is brutal. It's it's pretty bad. Um, it 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 will you know that you fired this uh, because of the lack of uh, padding on the butt plate, because of the lightness of the stock. Uh, you feel a lot of recoil. 
Um, so this is not something you're going to go out and just have a good day and shoot a lot of. And you know, it's going to be expensive to do that. It's going to be painful to do that. But it's a nice rifle. I do. I can't say that I dislike it. Um, I do like the rifle. Um, I do enjoy shooting it on very limited terms. Um, it is reliable. The magazine just slides in the bottom. Easily done. Easily removed. Comes right off the bottom. There's a little lever here that you pull to uh, release it. Um, I would have liked to have seen a little more wood to this and uh, maybe a little more metal around the guard here. But once again, it was a little, it was an inexpensive model. So uh, I have done some modifications to make it a little more accurate, which I have noticed the difference. But um, I'll get into those later. Anyway, Remington 770. Uh, I enjoy it. Some people may not. There are some uh, benefits or to the lower cost to getting into it. Um, if you're just starting out with the longer range rifles, my suggestion would be look at the 770s, but probably not in the 300 Winchester Magnum. Uh, it's a bit much to start off with. Anyway, it's a pretty decent weapon. Um, check one out.